if you're here live, I like to make sure that I engage you as much as possible so you get the value out of it. If you have a headset microphone, and you know what, doggone it, I'm just going to throw it out there. Everybody here listening to the sound of my voice should have a freaking headset microphone, all right? If you're making videos at all, you, you should have one. <laughs> but I want to address something that Steve Roth just said. His 15-year-old son ran off with his headset video gaming. Here's a tip. If you're looking at types of headsets to get, one that gamers use is going to be probably in your area of the best bet as opposed to you know, a really cheap regular headset, uh, uh, cheap Plantronics or, or Logitech or something like that. The reason for that is gamers, the intense little folks that they are, they require good sound. So the manufacturers of those devices take that into account, and very often you will find that headsets that are geared for gamers are a couple of things. Again, higher in quality because the market demands it, but the other thing is, let's see, Steve, how long is your 15-year-old son going to have that headset on and be playing games? Right. The other aspect to that is, of course, that they are very comfortable to wear, especially for extended periods of time. So there you go. Two slamming reasons to uh, check that out. For those of you who are here for the video genesis thing, I'm actually in going through all the content and stuff, and I've been sitting in on their live casts and things like that. And even in the free videos, I think Andy talks about this, the headset mic that he likes to use, he uses a couple. One is an older one that he's had for a long time uh, from a company called Sennheiser. The other one that he really currently loves is from Logitech. And guess what? It is a gamer headset. So let me jump over to Amazon for just a second, and we'll check it out. The reason I bring this up specifically is because I ordered one, and it just came in today. So I'm uh, chatting with this right now, and Steve Roth hit it right on the head. Andy recommends the Logitech GS330. So let's just see what we can find there, the Logitech 330. And this is uh, the little dealie right here. I've not previously been a big fan of the behind-the-ear kinds of headsets, but I'm wearing this one right now, and it is uh, surprisingly comfortable. One of the reasons for having something behind the ear is if you do, like, any kind of FaceTime interviews, uh, maybe uh, a Google Hangout, you know, or something like that, where you are on your webcam, and you are chatting with people. Well, a big bulky headset, you know, headphones looking thing looks kind of geeky, I guess. And, you know, something that comes in behind the ear in a situation like that, folks kind of normally expect that you're going to have a microphone of some type and one that just kind of appears around your, the side or on the side of your face a bit uh, is not a bad way to go. Like I say, I just got this today. So I am still testing it and uh, kind of looking forward to what might come out of it. It comes with both USB, which means it can plug right into your computer, and it recognizes it, and you're just good to go. It just works. In my particular case, I'm using an external mixer so that I can get the music and system sounds out through GoToWebinar. And so it also has the regular three and a half millimeter jacks. So for me, uh, I was looking for a decent headset that uh, kind of fit that bill. And so here we go. We're going to give this a run. We're going to see what happens. Okay? Let's go buy something, try something new. Don't you think we could? Don't you think we should? We deserve it. Why don't you go buy something, try something new? We think you could, we think you should, you deserve it. Let's go be you, bye, bye, bye.